Suppose you wish to answer the following question. A Wendy's manager knows that cars arrive at a drive through at a rate of three cars per minute during the lunch hour. She needs to determine the probability that no more than seven cars arrive in the first three minutes of the lunch hour. To answer this question, we would use the Poisson CDF command on the calculator. The structure of the command is as follows. You activate Poisson CDF, type in the mean time, and then the number of arrivals. The first thing we need to determine is the mean time. And this is done by taking the rate at which cars arrive, multiplying it over the time frame that we are interested in. So for this particular example, we have three cars per minute arriving and we want to know what happens over the first three minutes of the lunch hour. So three times three is nine. Now we can go ahead and use this command. So we hit second in VARES and we scroll until we find Poisson CDF. And then we enter in the mean value and then the number of arrivals we are expecting to see. So in this case we expect to see about 32.4 percent. Now, this situation is not saying that exactly seven cars will arrive. This is the situation that describes at most seven cars arrive. Okay, so we have zero cars, one car, two cars, three cars, all the way up to and including seven cars. So consider the same scenario, except this time we wish to determine the probability that fewer than seven cars will arrive within the first three minutes. So we go back to the Poisson CDF and we'll change that 7 to a 6. Since the problem stated fewer, we must consider the next integer less than the stated number in order to get the probability correct. Now if you want, we can have the manager trying to determine the probability that no more than 6 or no more than 7 cars will arrive in the first 3 minutes. So in order to do this, We'll go back under VARES. We'll go ahead and select the Poisson CDF command, type in our mean value, which is 9, and then we'll enter in a list of 6 or 7. And I'll go ahead and store this list as L1. And we'll go ahead and check this out. So here we can see the results of the computations. The first number is the probability that no more than six cars arrive in the first three minutes of the lunch hour. And the second number is the probability that no more than seven cars will arrive in the first three minutes of the lunch hour. So this number, this 0 0.206, that is the probability that no more than six cars will arrive. This 0 0.32 three eight number this is the probability that no more than seven cars will arrive suppose you have the following situation though the manager wishes to determine the probability that at least ten cars arrive in the first three minutes of the lunch hour so we go under second and mode we'll go back to the home screen and we go under second and VARES scroll until we get to Poisson CDF and enter in the mean value which is 9 and then another 9. Now remember this is the probability that 0 cars plus the probability that 1 car plus the probability that 2 cars all the way up to the probability that 9 cars arrive in the first 3 minutes. We need the complement of this though. We need to take this away from 1 because that's going to give us the correct answer. So we'll say 1 minus this answer and now we have our correct probability. So in order to determine probabilities with phrases like more than or at least, we need to use the complement rule on the calculator. The command itself, the Poisson CDF command, gives results in the fewer or the at most scenarios. Also, be careful about the number of arrivals to make sure that you are computing the probabilities correctly. And this is how you can use the Poisson CDF command on the calculator.